So at the highest heat setting, it topped out at 228 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, 228 degrees Fahrenheit. I didn't even believe it myself. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Andalee Ceramic Space Heater. I did purchase this product myself and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box and packaging right here, walking you through some of the key features. This is a 1500 watt space heater with adjustable thermostat. This also has a built-in tip over switch and automatic overheat protection. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, you can see we have our user guide and manual walking us through important safety instructions as well as how to use our device, clean it and maintain it. They also have some troubleshooting suggestions for you and their customer service and contact information. Next, you can see the space heater itself. Check it out from the front. We have an indicator light with their logo and branding. You can see our metal mesh cover. Here it is from the top. You can see we have two different control options. So we're gonna have our fan setting and then a one and two for our heat settings. And then we have our individual uh, thermostat controls on the other side. You can see it from the right as well as the left. We have more safety instructions for you and reset instructions. So if the unit shuts down, turn off um, and unplug, wait 10 minutes and then plug it in and turn back on. You can see from the back side, our air intake and our fan. We have our carry handle, integrated power cord. And then on the bottom, you can see we have our safety switch right here. In the event that this tips over, it will shut off. Now let's go ahead, let's plug it in and try it out. So currently we have the space heater running right now, but we have it in the fan speed setting because that's gonna be our loudest setting. One and two don't make a difference in regards to the fan speed, but it does seem to spin a little bit faster and a little bit more revved up with just the fan option enabled, which again, doesn't have any heat. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna use our decibel meter and see how loud it is. So typically we're gonna get a decibel readout of around 60 decibels, but the loudest decibel measurement that we peaked at was 73 decibels with this unit. Now I have it changed to the highest heat setting. So we have it on two and we have it all the way up with our thermostat and we're gonna let it run for a couple minutes, come back and see how hot it gets. So at the highest heat setting, it topped out at 228 degrees Fahrenheit, yes. 228 degrees Fahrenheit, I didn't even believe it myself, and it actually started to disform the top of our temperature probe right here when I had it up to this waiting for it to get to its hottest temperature. So we maxed out at 228 with the highest heat settings. Now I wanna go ahead and demonstrate the tip over switch and how it's gonna activate in the event that this gets knocked over. So watch as we start to tip this unit. So say our pet bumps into it. As soon as we tip it over, and that piece leaves the table, it's going to shut off. And then as soon as we set it back down, you can see the machine's going to start again. So it tips over, doesn't matter which way you go, right? We can go left, we can go to the right. And then as soon as it's back upright, it's gonna continue on with the previous setting. So rest assured in the event that this gets knocked over, it's gonna shut off for you, thanks to that switch on the bottom. So after using the space heater, let me share with you guys my final thoughts. Wow, I'm impressed with how much heat this little heater throws out. So much so it was melting the plastic tip on my tool. So if you're looking for a small, compact, yet powerful and very strong space heater, this is gonna be a great choice for you. Very simple controls up at the top. We have our two heat settings and we have a fan mode if we don't want any heat. And then we can adjust the temperature right here as well. Nice handle on the back too. If you do plan to carry this around frequently, you'll enjoy having that handle. But I'd say that's probably my least favorite feature about this unit. I wish the handle was deeper or a little bit easier to hold on to, especially if you're going to be moving this, you know, around daily, hourly, whatever you plan to do with your heater, you'd appreciate having a better handle on the back. But I got to say, besides being so powerful and throwing out a lot of heat, it's got a really important safety feature that I cannot stress enough is really, really valuable to have if you have pets or children or any fear of this heater getting knocked over or anything in your house or office that could knock this over. You really wanna make sure that you get a space heater that has this switch built in. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. 
Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.